Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to our global audiences. Uh, Peter Rebel, the organizing committee, and I, Anna Krambus, welcome you to the Biomarkers Workshop organized by the International Coalition to Eliminate HPV, ICHPV, as part of the International HPV Meeting coordinated by the Hepatitis B Foundation. The timing of this workshop could not have been better. Only today, the Nobel Assembly of Karolinska Institute has decided to award the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly to Michael Houghton, Harvey Alter, and Charles Rice for the discovery of hepatitis C virus. What wonderful news. We congratulate them wholeheartedly, all of them members of our community. When Peter and I first talked about this workshop in Melbourne exactly a year ago, we had visualized it very differently. We should have been sitting at the Sheraton in Toronto. Nothing could have prepared us for the format of the meeting today. However, like any challenging situation, COVID-19 has its silver linings and has unmasked opportunities that have been previously unrecognized. The pandemic has taught us many things. Firstly, it has shown us how resilient and adaptable we can be. Secondly, it has demonstrated how well scientists, unlike politicians, can collaborate. Thirdly, it has highlighted that science has to stay one step ahead. If vaccine development for SARS and MERS had not been shelved, we would have been, uh, had a head start. This is something policymakers and funders should be aware of. And last but not least, the COVID pandemic has underscored how important it is that we have biomarkers that are both specific and sensitive to follow an infection, its clinical manifestations, and response to preventive and treatment modalities. For us, the HPV research community, it is vital that we remain to our, true to our primary and core interest, our research on HPV. As we progress towards a cure for HPV, it is important that we remain, have specific and sensitive markers for screening new antiviral therapies. For this reason, ICHPV has created a number of international working groups, including one looking specifically at biomarkers. We collaborate with key stakeholders, including the community, representatives, um, research agencies, global health organizations, foundations, and the pharmaceutical industry to accelerate research in HPV cure. May we meet the objectives of our workshop to understand the viral and immunological biomarkers are useful, to recognize the gaps, and to recommend the way forward. At the outset, I would like to thank all the chairs, speakers, and panelists for enthusiastically agreeing to participate and our sponsors for their generous contributions and support. Thank you to Janssen, Gilead, and ICEHBV's ongoing partners, ANNRS, the Doherty Institute, University of Melbourne, the International HPV Meeting, the Hepatitis B Foundation, the Rationazi Family Foundation, and numerous anonymous contributions. Uh, with your generous support, the classroom has expanded. We have over 30, 300 participants from across the globe, which we are hosting without a registration fee. Thank you to Capuchin, our program manager, for her hard work. Wishing all a productive and uh, stimulating and inspiring workshop. It remains for me to ask the chairs of the first session, Ulrika Pratza and Timothy Block, to take the virtual podium. Thank you very much, Anna, and thank you all for logging on and to ICHBV for organizing this. Um, yeah, what a great, great session we have. And uh, again, uh, this is Tim Block from the um, Hepatitis B Foundation Blumberg Institute outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where some good things come from, uh, Barry Blumberg, for example. Um, and by the way, uh, congratulations again to Dr. Zalter, Houghton, and Rice. Um, Barry Blumberg and Harvey Alter uh, are, were really co-discoverers of hepatitis B, so Dr. Alter has, a, has his hand in two major discoveries. Um, this morning, um, Ulla Prutze from Heidelberg and I will be your co-chairs. I'll introduce the first two speakers, and then I'll turn it over 
to Ula, as, as Anna mentioned, uh, I'll be watching the chat box for questions. And after about um, 15 minutes, we'll, uh, after the, each speaker, who will speak for about 15 minutes, leaving uh, five, questions, five minutes for questions, I'll move over and try to read, do my, the best I can to read your questions. So please be as clear as possible in the chat box, identifying yourself fully in name if that doesn't appear on your introduction, if you'd like to be introduced. 